Hey guys, James again with TFB TV, and I have another exciting top five list for you this week. It is the top five mathematically superior, scientifically proven 380s. Now, you may remember that I did a video on the top five mathematically superior nine millimeters, and it, it's tongue in cheek. I'm referring to the most efficient. 380s and 9 millimeters. So how do we figure out which guns are the most efficient? Well, we take two numbers. The first number I call rounds per ounce. It's simple. You take the capacity, you divide it by the weight, and that gives you how many rounds the gun holds per ounce of weight. Then we add that to the second number, which I called rounds per square inch. It's like the gun's footprint in the grip area, the part that you really need to conceal. So that is the height times the width, and you divide that into the capacity of the gun to get rounds per square inch. You add those two numbers together, and that gives you a composite score. Now, I figured out a good composite score from last time. Any number between two and a half to three is a really good composite score. You're looking at, if it's got a three, it's going to be one of the most efficient lightest but highest capacity guns in its class. Now, double stacks have a little bit of an edge because all guns have, they've got the same barrel, they've got the same slide, roughly, even though the single stacks may use a little bit less material. The thing is you're getting double the capacity from double stacks versus single stacks, which are almost as heavy but have a severely reduced capacity. So double stacks always kind of have an advantage in this test. Take a look at the sheet and you'll see what I'm talking about with 380 double stack versus 380 single stack. It's the same thing we saw with the nine millimeters and that rolls us right into our number five. So the Bursa Thunder Plus is the double stack version of the revered, reputed, and beloved Bursa Thunder 380. The Thunder 380, if you remember, is the little single stack PPK-like 380 made by Bursa of Argentina. Excellent gun dollar for dollar, one of the best 380s you can buy, but because it's a metal frame, it's a little on the chunky side, a little heavy. The Bursa Thunder Plus holds 15 plus one round of 380. It's got a lightweight aluminum frame, so if you guys like metal frames versus polymer, this is your gun. It weighs 20 ounces, it's 4.9 inches tall, and 1.35 inches thick. It's got a perfect score, virtually, of three, and it costs less than $400. It's the number one 380. It's the most efficient 380 on the sheet. So why is it number five? And the reason why it's number five is because it's also the only double stack on the list. And again, these double stacks, they have a distinct advantage because really, I don't see this gun as being as efficient as the single stack guns that I'm about to get into. In fact, the Bursa Thunder Plus is a little bit bigger than the Glock 19 whenever you add all the dimensions. So it may not feel bigger, but technically it's a larger gun, even though the Glock is about four ounces heavier. So while the Bursa is technically number one on this list, the thing about 380, the great thing about 380 is you can get much smaller than nine millimeter. So it kind of raises the question, why go with the Bursa Thunder Plus in 380? If you can just get a Glock 19 and nine millimeter or another double stack nine millimeter, that's going to be just as efficient or roughly the same size. And I'm asking that question to you genuinely. Some of you may like 380 for some reason over nine millimeter. Some of you may prefer a metal frame and those are good reasons. But in any case, Burst of Thunder 380, number five. All right, guys, let's roll right into the single stacks. Now, this is a list of the most efficient guns as I described earlier. But if we were doing a list of the top five single stack 380s or top five pocket guns or something like that, this one might be my number one. I've got the CAR CW380 and the CAR CT380. So what do I like about the CARs? Well, they've got some of the best triggers in the class, even though the reset's a little long. They're striker fired, which is less common in the 380. You're looking at more double action only hammer fired guns in this category. They're inexpensive. You can find them for less than $250, but they have, in my opinion, better fit and finish than almost every gun in the class. 
maybe with the exception of the Glock 42, but the Glock 42 is a hog. It's almost the same size as the Glock 43, and I think it's the same size as the CM9, which is Carr's single stack, tiny nine millimeter. The CW380 has a score of 2.65, but the CT380 is just in front of it. At 4.4 inches tall and only 0.75 inches thick, it weighs only 11.4 ounces, and it's a seven plus one gun, so you get a full grip on the gun versus the CW, which is the six plus one. So the CT380 has a score of 2.74, and the CW is just behind it with a 2.65. And again, with the CW, you're looking at dangling a pinky, even though it will take those seven plus one mags and you can operate it with the finger extension. Again, I've got a full review of the car CW380 coming up. It's one of my favorite single stack 380s, so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. All right, so moving on to number three. A lot of you ask me, how come there's not a Taurus on your top five lists? How come you don't review Tauruses? Well, I'm biased. I don't know why, but I just can't like Taurus. I, I just can't do it, and I'm sorry. I'm biased, I'm prejudiced, and I'm apologizing to you guys. Now, I did check them out. It shot 2017. I got to hang out with Jesse Duff. It was a magical experience for her just as much as it was for me, I'm sure. And we got to shoot the 380s, like the Spectrum, the Curve. I got to shoot some of their lever action guns, so it was a fun time. I've got the Taurus TCP as number three on the list. So to go over the specs real quick, the TCP is 3.63 inches tall, only 0.7 inches thick, and only 9.9 .9 ounces, but it holds six plus one. It's one of the smallest guns on the list, and it's got a 2.73 score. So Patrick R had several TCPs, and he said in his opinion, that they were the best bang for the buck. He says they've got the best trigger, or at least they did at the time, between the LCP and the 380, while being as inexpensive as the P380. And I value Patrick's opinion very much, so if he says that they're decent and they're worth looking at, then I don't hesitate to make that same recommendation to you guys. But here's the funny part. The TCP has been discontinued by Taurus, and what's taking its place? the Taurus Spectrum. So I got to check out and shoot the Taurus Spectrums. I didn't think they were that bad. I actually thought the colorways were kind of cool, but it seems like I am in the minority. In fact, my own brothers at TFB, at the Firearm Blog, Pete posted an article called Miami Spice, the new Taurus Spectrum. The article begins with no, period, just no, period. Pete says that a white and chrome color scheme with plastic turquoise inserts has no place on his pistol. And even though the Spectrum is only 10 ounces unloaded, holds six plus one rounds, Pete wants to know who asked for this. Pete, you sanctimonious son of a bitch. This is America, Pete. And if I want to fill my first and second amendment holes with a tutti fruity colored shocker of freedom, then I'm gonna do it because it's my decision. Check out these colorways, guys. Look, you can even customize it on the website. How awesome is that? I think some of these colorways are pretty fucking dope. I know I'm in the minority here. I think these things are pretty cool. I think Pete's also right. I'm not sure these are gonna do well in the market. I know you guys are gonna bash me in the comments, but that's cool because when I get out of Pilates and I open carry my Lily Pulitzer Multicam Taurus Spectrum 380 into Pinkberry while I'm walking my Golden Doodle, I'm gonna feel sad for you guys. So you guys may remember we're starting the TFB TV mailroom, and that is you, you get to send us whatever you want. If you're a manufacturer, if you're some schmo at home, whatever, you wanna send us some stuff and you want us to open it on air, go ahead, send it to us. Send us a little description. Here's the address, give us your contact information. We'll open it on the air, we'll read your description. And then whoever does the best comment in certain videos, Whoever makes the best comment, we're gonna send them something from the mailbag. Whoever can Photoshop the dopest Taurus Spectrum is gonna win. Bonus points if you make a roll mark that says fuck you, Pete, on the side. Anyways, I'll pick a winner and I'll post it on my Instagram and send you some gear, some TFB swag or some stuff from the mailbag. I'm moving it on up to number two. We're looking at the Diamondback DB380. I have never even seen one of these in person. I'm aware of them, but I've never actually seen one. 
Now guys, this gun is so ugly, I wouldn't stick your fingers in it, but on paper, it looks pretty damn good. Only 0.75 inches thick, only 3.75 inches tall, weighs only 8.8 .8 ounces, but it's six plus one and it only costs 190 bucks street price. That's pretty good. It's US made, it's striker fired, unlike many other guns in this class. It's got adjustable sights, Pretty impressive grip stippling you can see in these photographs. It's got front and rear slide serrations, and it's got a total score of 2.82, the second best single stack 380 on the list. Guys, it looks great on paper. I don't know much about it, so help me out. If you own one, tell me in the comments. Tell me what you think. I'll probably pin the best post in the comments uh, giving an explanation on the DB380 and what you think of it. All right, guys, moving on to the number one. It's the God damn it. Half you guys are gonna say, oh man, all you do is talk about how awesome the P380 is. Half you guys are gonna say, oh, all you've done is crap on the P380 and kel and you talk about how crappy their guns are. The truth is somewhere in between. So you guys know, I've done the review, I've talked about it. I actually own four kel P380s. I think they're pretty awesome. They are lightweight, they're slim, they can fit in your pocket, but you're still packing 380, six plus one, and I like it a little bit better than stuffing a five plus one J frame in my pants. Guys, this is the lightest 380 on the planet. And when we run the numbers, we see it is the most efficient single stack gun on this list. Only 0.77 inches thick, only 3.75 inches tall, weighs only 8.3 ounces. That's incredible. So does it have a shitty trigger? Yes. Is it made out of melted down matchbox cars, pencil shavings, and beach plastic? Yes, but it is the smallest freaking gun that you can buy, and it's really easy to take with you and to be able to tap into six plus one and 380. Now, if you want something nicer, the Ruger LCP and the Ruger LCP2 are right behind the P380, and they outclass the P380 in almost every way. Better grips, better sights, better trigger, but they're more expensive, and hey, the P380 still beats the pants off of the LCP and the LCP2 when you come to size. The LCP and the LCP2 have scores of about 2.72, 2.73, but the humble kel P380 has the highest score with a 2.95, making it the most efficient single stack on this list and the winner of this week's top five. So I hope you enjoyed the list. Again, I talked about in the video, we've got the TFB TV mailroom, send us some junk. We've got the comment competition. You, whoever can Photoshop the best Taurus Spectrum, we're gonna send you some junk from the mailroom. And remember guys, YouTube recently demonetized gun related videos. So we're kind of hurting financially right now. So we're revitalizing the Patreon campaign, our Patreon page. We're gonna start adding tier benefits soon for people who donate to it. And some of you may remember, we gave away a TFB custom P380 to Patreon supporters a few months back. So that's gonna be coming up for our Patreon supporters. Anyways, thank you to you guys, subscribers, viewers, Patreon supporters, and thank you most of all to our sponsors, Ventura Munitions and Proxybid. And I wanna say welcome aboard to Vista Outdoors. The Vista Outdoors group of products is joining us. They're a partner with TFB TV now, and they're going to be helping us make up some of that financial gap. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next week. Take care.